Hello students and welcome to another science online class. This is video part number one for the topic magnetism. Properties of magnets. More than 2,000 years ago, Greeks discovered a mysterious rock. The rock can attract materials with iron and was called magnetite. Magnetite is a rock mineral and one of the main iron ores with the chemical formula Fe3O4. It is one of the oxides of iron and is very magnetic. It is attracted to a magnet and can be magnetized to become a permanent magnet itself. It is the most magnetic of all the naturally occurring minerals on Earth. The Greeks did not know that they are observing a property of matter called magnetism. Magnetism is a class of physical phenomena that are mediated by magnetic fields. Electric currents and the magnetic moments of elementary particles give rise to a magnetic field, which acts on other currents and magnetic moments. So, magnetic, um, so magnetism is a force of attraction or repulsion due to an arrangement of electrons. Magnetic poles are magnetic forces of magnets, which are the strongest at the two ends. So, each of the points near the extremities of the axis of rotation of the Earth or another celestial body where a magnetic needle dips vertically. So, remember that like poles repel and like poles attract. So, let's discuss magnetic field. So, as you can see, if you put a magnet and then top it with a white bond paper and then sprinkle uh, sprinkle the white bond paper with iron filings this uh, are the possible resultant or the results no so the patterns that we can observe are magnetic fields so when we say magnetic field it is a vector field that describes a magnetic influence on an electric charge of other moving charges or magnetized materials a charge that is moving in a magnetic field experiences a force perpendicular to its own velocity and to the magnetic field. So we have different types of magnetic materials. First is the natural magnets. They are naturally occurring substances that have magnetic properties. Temporary magnets are magnets produced by magnetic induction and lose their magnetism quickly. And permanent magnets are made of materials that are more difficult to magnetize but which tend to stay magnetized. Now let's discuss the Earth as a magnet. In 1600s, William Gilbert proposed that Earth is a big magnet. He predicted that the Earth would be fun to have magnetic poles. The Earth is surrounded by a magnetic field that is strongest around the magnetic north and south poles. The region of the Earth's magnetic field is called the magnetosphere. So we will continue our discussion in video number two. Thank you for listening.